Righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of, e of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. Come on, give the Father a Wisdom, we talk about this a lot, and understanding righteous and judgment. That's to understand righteous judgment and equity in every good path, every good way to go when you have heart, when you set a heart. That's what we're talking about. And those three things basically was what's right, honest, and what's fair. And we we dealing with that, we're dealing with the uh the discretion shall preserve the and understanding shall keep me. We deal with those things that are uh, purpose. Purpose. Why am I here? That's why it's good to know that your steps are order. What's going on in your life? Why have the Father? What reason? I'm not using the word reason, but why has the Father got you in a certain position at a certain time? And He will let you know these things. Everything's not such a deep mystery as we make it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and to discerning what was, what was right. That was part of purpose. We'll be able to discern what is right. In other words, we'll be able to use our spider senses more. A lot of us don't use the little bit we got and wonder why it's not grown. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, you have to be faithful over the few to gain the much. If, if the scripture said, My spirit should not always strive with me. That's back in Genesis. And over there, he meant that as a standard of life. A lot of times we see stuff and it's a foundational thing. So, if he said, my spirit should not always strive or wrestle with man, he mean, meaning he's not going to keep wrestling and struggling with you to do the right thing. In other words, if, if you're not, if he's telling you, let's say, don't go in that room, and, and you just digging him and going in that room, well, pretty soon he's not going to tell you. Yeah. Oh, he listening to something. Oh, yeah. It's like a record day. He said, the stress you should preserve and understanding should keep you. And snatch, we talked about that snatching you from off the past. Get the step out there. To deliver, deliver will snatch you away. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh forward things. Yeah. And I want you to understand something here. You see how he keeps talking about paths, and different paths, and different roads. 
Yes. Deliver me from this path. Stay on this path. Yes. Because sin just don't happen. Mm. And I can just wake up one morning and sin. Yeah. It's the path you're walking and who you're walking with. Are you listening to me? Yeah. I heard one man talking this morning. He was so true. He was talking about who you sleep with is, is, is how you're going to develop who you are. You was talking about relationship thing with husband, wife, boyfriend, and stuff like that. But it's also how can two walk together unless they agree? You start walking down the road with someone who ain't walking the way you walk it, eventually you're going to start walking the way they walk. Yeah. And you're going to have to make a hard choice. A lot of times we make choices or we put ourselves in situations where we have to make agonizing decisions. All because way back when we decided to get off the road. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. You have, you have worked so hard to get to a certain place. You worked so hard to get through the gate. Now you're through the gate, you think you've arrived, and now you're just listening to anybody. And start walking the path they're walking because you think you're strong. Mm -hmm. You're thinking I got there, but you're not. Amen. You say, your spider says, but say, don't go that way. Don't do that. You, you get that, that thing in your, your gut that says, hey, this is wrong. You may not be, it may not be a sin, and that's the, that's the difference. It may not be a sin, but it may be something that's wrong for you that's going to lead you down a path that you don't need to go. I see, yeah. when, whenever you think you know it, oh, I'm telling you the truth, man. Whenever you think you know it, and you start going your way, it's going to lead to destruction. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have these basic fundamental rules. Respect your elders. Do everything that's unto y'all. Do what is right. Obey the commandments. These basic fundamental things mm -hmm. that is the core of what you believe. Yeshua said what? Uh, he said, Love the Lord and God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and that neighbor is that self. Yeah. You can hang all the laws and all the prophets on those two things. Mm -hmm. And so we see that, but yet we don't live. Mm -hmm. Put it this way. Here for example. Are you listening? Yeah. I got a couple minutes on the house. Give me a second. Yeah. I have a couple minutes on the house. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There you go. Okay. Before I begin. Not obeying, not listening to the spider sin. Uh -huh. Are you listening to me? Yeah. The other night I got, when I, when I first got out of the hospital, I was, I don't know when I first got out, but I was in that zone. I was very down, I was very depressed. Uh, people don't understand it, but part of recovery is not getting depressed. Yeah. You can easily, somebody say easily. Easily. You can easily get depressed after you come out of, I mean, especially the stuff I've been through, and I'm, I'm not saying it because it's me. I mean, doctors, everybody keep telling me, it's amazing you even made it through such, nevertheless, on recovery. It's, it's very unusual for a person to experience as much as I have. And anyway, so I'm sitting there at Camaro, I'm getting depressed. Life really, really sucks. Yeah. And when I say really, really sucks, I mean it really, really sucks. Yeah. I mean, it's to the point that I'm, I'm sitting in bed crying for no reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't even tell you why I was crying. Yeah. You know, and I'm not a cry. Believe it or not, I'm not a crybaby. It just, I was just sick of everything. I'm like, it makes no sense. Woo, those colors in that chair just don't go together. Mm -hmm. They're like you disco when you were walking in front of the chair. <laughs> You know, those throw lights yeah. that do the things that I was in your shirt. Ooh, I'm busy. Yeah, it is. No. But anyway, what I was saying was, when, you, when, when I got out of the hospital, I was very down and depressed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, I just got blessed. And I kept, come off this E regimen. And it was good, looking good, feeling good. And now, all the weight that I lost, I gained, and I don't know how I gained it. Yeah. I, did, I wasn't eating wrong. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I ain't been out long enough to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm right back in the hospital. Why? I don't know. And then I go right back in it again. 
why or how, I don't know. And now I'm, I'm, I'm waking up, and I'm sitting on the edge of my bed, and I know I'm doing it, but I'm not sleepy, but I don't know what to do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I mean, what, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. This, that's my mentality. I'm talking to y'all right now. Somebody say depressed. Depressed. I'm, 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 I'm so depressed. You know, I should have called the doctor or something. A lot of people would have killed me. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting over there just down. And my spider says, go on. And guess what my spider says? Mm-hmm. They said, did you say your demand yesterday? That's what the Spirit was, I thought my spider said, but that's what the Spirit said to me. Mm-hmm. And I said, no, I ain't, you know, I ain't tell him no, but yeah. this is the, I'm breaking down the conversation that was instantaneous. I'm like, no. And then he was like, what's that? And I'm like, no, I want to see him. It's, yeah. it's time to go to bed. Yeah. And he said, now I'm breaking, this is instantaneous thing. And he said, ain't you the one that preached? You need to see him? When you first get that feeling that you didn't say them, yeah, I said it. That's what you said. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what you said. <laughs> well, don't you think you need to do what I say? Wait. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm saying that the man is going to do this. What am I saying to the man? He's saying to the man. Then I get to my script. I say, Yahweh is my shepherd. I, I feel like, oh, you're my shepherd. <laughs> Yahweh is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Mm-hmm. And then my other shepherd out here, oh. I have never seen a righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging oh. bread. I'm not going to be the first. Oh, thanks, sir. Mm. I, I, mean, I, I hate how I start out. I've been young. <laughs> <laughs> and then, after I've done that, the Spirit said, you need some word. That's why the Spirit said, you need some word. Mm-hmm. And so I got there. I was like, he was like, no, you don't need no music. You need some word. Mm-hmm. So I grabbed Optimus and, and I got my favorite scriptures and Great favorite sermons and all this good stuff, and I went and he, I was like, "What is this affliction message?" Listen to affliction, change my whole mind, transform my views of not an option. I begin to oh, remember who I am now. Hey, hey, I'm a child of the Most High. Yeah. I got it going on like that, you know. But it all started with me listening. And not being discouraged by that old evil man that's trying to get me to get off the path. And see, when you hang or when you roll them with people that are stupid, you're going to start being stupid. Uh-huh. Before some said stupid is, and stupid does. Yes. And people are stupid. Yes. They're very, very stupid. Yes. Human beings can be stupid. Yes. Oh, and I remember I'm talking, and I t- see, my, and my tread on the wire told him that. I, I, I walked past him, I said, a human being can be stupid, or something like that. I was quoting uh, Will Smith. Yeah, 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 being in black, Will Smith. I mean, uh, K. 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 He said, a uh, human being is, you know, the person is smart, but yeah. yeah, and that's what I said. And I was saying that because I was finishing a conversation that I had. Say it over the mic, my trailer. Well, why are you hiding? People are smart. A person is smart. People are dumb, panicky creatures, and you know it. <laughs> yeah. see, the part, and I told him, I said, hey, I remember preaching a sermon about that. Mm-hmm. And I had preached a sermon about that called... Uh, I was just going to take my time. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, God, 
Yeah, it's something to do with that same. Uh, but anyway, I preach a whole message on that, and I, it was coming back to me. And the Spirit was bringing more fight as I listened to him more. Are you listening to him? Are you listening to him? He took my saying. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but you, do you understand what I'm saying, though? The more I listen to my spider sense, the more it talked to me. Come over Spider Man, much rather knows about Spider Man was blind, and he said, Hey, he had to depend totally upon his spider sense. And he was doing stuff, amazing stuff, more amazing than he was before he went blind. And it was on a temporary blindness. And he was about to make this grand announcement to Daredevil that, Hey, I'm the first blind superhero. Which Daredevil is blind and don't know what I know. <laughs> but the more he depended on the spider sense, the more it reveal things to you. So if you are dependent upon discretion or purpose or discerning what is right or the spider sense, it will begin to show you the different paths. When I was in the hospital, they had my eyes covered. Am I right, Elder? They had my eyes covered with like a triangle looking thing. And it's probably been on the nose, but a lot of oh, times it was on yeah. it was over my eye. And I could only once I figured out that, hey, I'm in a hospital, are you listening to me? Once I figured that out, I was hearing in the other room. I was discerning things. I was seeing way more than I did normally. And I told Ella, I said, I said, I'm on, I'm on a whole different plane. Because I was depending more and more on my spider sense because I couldn't trust my eyes. I couldn't trust my ears. I couldn't trust that. I was hearing. I couldn't, just tr I couldn't trust what I was seeing. So I had to depend on my shana now. And it never let me down. I had to depend on that unction. Are you listening to me? See, and, and that's what you guys are not doing. The moment... The moment we have meeting, we're not meeting. Talk English, man. The moment, <laughs> you know, when you ain't talk to people in a long time, you start talking funny out loud. Yeah. I mean, I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I'm by myself. Nail come home. I'm saying, it, ooh, I, ooh. And she's like, what in the world are you saying, man? I understand. The, the rain is Spain stays mainly. That a woman in your life? But the point I'm making, what point I'm making? The moment we stop listening. Yeah. The moment you stop listening, the moment you can't speak that language. The moment you start listening to that shana na, to that spiritual, the moment you won't understand the language in which it's talking. Are you listening to me? You start coming to RTM, when I say the man miss, you have no idea of what I'm talking about. Like some of the old people come like, they have no, no idea of what I mean when I say the man miss, or Yah, or Yahweh, or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So that type of stuff goes into your personality. The moment, the moment we start having RTM, you went crazy. You're on two people in this house. I ain't bring it. <laughs> Are you listening? Somebody has gotten into your life and led you down the path of darkness. Are you listening? Somebody. So then when Pastor Carmen says something, you forgot how to be submissive. You got all about being humble. You got all about it. It was known in the back of your head that, hey, maybe I should, because you were hanging with an idiot, mm. you start doing what an idiot would do. Mm. Stop crying. I said, my trip, go in the woods and make animal noises, and you said, no. <laughs>
to deliver thee from the evil <laughs> man, from the man that speaketh stupid stuff. I'm at 12. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Come on, forward things. Listen, I heard one preacher say, and he said that there are people say there are many roads to God. And they are. There are many roads that lead to the one road. Everybody got a path they're walking. But you it come a point in your life where you got to choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. See, the problem is, when you look at, and when I look at folks, let's say you guys, I see you walking on a path. But what's true? Can I tell you something a, a, little, a little bit good? When I, when, I was, when I thought I was dying, you know what kept my mind? Because I almost went crazy. You know what kept my mind? I had sense enough to listen to the Spirit and to physically do this. I just listen to me. This is what this is what I physically did. The nurse left the room, and so I leaned forward and I grabbed Elder Flynn and I looked in the eye. I said, "You cannot leave." And she, I knew she would listen to me. I don't care what would happen. I know one person in the world was listening to me is Elder Flynn. I, if the earthquake would have came, I don't believe she would have left. I said, "You cannot leave." And she looked at me. I said, listen to me. I'm about to go crazy. You cannot leave. I cannot tell what's going on. But I had grabbed her so I knew she was real. Are you listening to me? You know who told me to do that? The Spirit of God. You know why? Because life and death is in the power of my tongue. And I knew I was a spiritual leader. And I knew that she had always, I don't care what kind of hell going on, in my life, she been right there. And we done been through some thick and thin. I knew that if Nell was there, and I would have told Nell, oh, I'm going crazy. You can't leave me. She would have stayed. I knew that. It was on certain people I could do that to. Are you listening to me? The Spirit told me to do that. Why he told me in my shana now, why he told me to do it, I don't know. I can look back. I can speculate, but it has something to do with something. Because when we left the ministry, what we talked about, lay hands suddenly on no man. Yeah. What we talked about, life and death is in the power of the tongue. This will, your, your discernment, your, your, your purpose will lead you away from that twisted person who said, child, you need to go home and get some rest. When you know your leader said, don't leave me. And she left to the only person she could lead me to. She did not leave until she knew the elder was coming on the way. And when she came to me, she grabbed me. She said, Pastor. And she gave me the water or something, ice or something. Because I was believing that when the ice went past a certain line, it turned hot. And when I drunk it, guess what? It was hot. When I put it back past that thing, it was ice. When I bring the cup to me and looked, I saw water. When I bring it out here, it was ice. And I was like, they're putting it past the machine. It turned to ice. And to me, it was turning to hot water because I was thinking time was fast. So, I mean, thinking it's hard, so it is. Now, the point I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make is what kept me? What kept me? See, I remember because I, I almost went crazy when I thought I died. Because I was like trying to gather my thoughts. And I was like, Father, what's the, I'm always talking to the Father. And I said, what is the difference between my mind making up this death thing and then when I saw the gold and I saw the light, what, what is the difference? He said, the difference was the colors. He said, one was real. And one wasn't. One was in black and white, and one was in full colors. The enemy can't mimic the colors that y'all did because 
It is unmimicable, if that's the word. I like it. Because you're, see, he can't get in your eyes and see what you're seeing. Because the colors that's in glory is, is unique. And you're trying to relate it to something. He can't relate. I can say light gold, but he don't know what I mean. Mm -hmm. He can make the commercial, the Twitch commercial, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. But it's, it's close to it, but it's not that. Mm -hmm. so, so, so when I thought I was dead, I know how it feels to leave your body. Mm -hmm. He couldn't do that. Yeah. My mind couldn't du duplicate that. Yeah. My flesh couldn't duplicate that. Why? Because there's only one way that can happen. Yeah. Yeshua got the power of life, death, and the grave. He decides when you die. He decides how long you live. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, that's how I knew this was not real. Yeah. Because I had experienced the real. Yeah. Ooh, and I didn't even know I was experiencing it. Because yeah. I said, I know I prayed about it. I know I heard. And I know you, you, just like, you won't even know when you're gone. And that's why I kept saying, hey, I, I can hear. Mm -hmm. Had I not experienced the real, I would have been like still thinking I'm dead. Maybe I would have died. Uh -huh. But because I could still understand, I could, I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm still here. Uh -huh. And I opened my eyes, because remember, I, I couldn't open my eyes before. Yeah. I, I could have went in a coma. My yeah. body was not making blood. Yeah. You don't understand that yeah. it has stopped. In the artery. In the artery, yes, stop. Yeah. You know, I don't know nobody. Uh -huh. But anyway, so I see here what caught me, what what kept me. My spider sense kept me. Thank you, Father. Which is the spirit of Yah, which is the spirit of life, it kept me. Thank you, Father. It snatched me by. Just what we've been preaching, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So when I left him, they go hang with no idiots that say, oh, they just new age. Oh, your pastor just saying anything. Oh, I told bless his bless his poor little heart. No, bless your poor little heart out the door. Yeah. You don't understand that for what is good and what is a treasure. You don't understand what the treasure is. Get them devils from around your pearls. Yes. Don't be talking about my lead around me. I don't want to hear that. Yes. I don't talk about your leader. Yes. Um, yes. Matter of fact, I show respect to your leader. Exactly. Because he is a man or a woman. Of God. I don't go into y'all teachings and all this yes. and that. You sit right there and let somebody talk about the very thing that gives you life. You have a question? Now it said to deliver these from the person who speaks for a thing. For a thing is reverse thing. The first thing we understand is twisted. Mm -hmm. You talk about the truth, but you twist the truth. Yeah. And you sit right there and listen to it. Mm -hmm. One thing that the enemy loves to do, and you fall for it, he makes you think. Your leader is outdated. He starts whispering stuff in your head because so you got living knowledge. Because I know how to rap and my leader didn't. He's outdated with his program. Who told you that? That's just like a wife come telling the husband, you don't know how to dress. I dress good enough to get you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, some some is in this package that you like. Hello. <laughs> See, and when one thing about me that I learned from my wife is I have confidence in my man. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't worried about her going out looking for something better because you can't find it. Hello. So I want me. Bam, I'm made for her. She's made for me. <laughs> so I don't worry about her going to find something better because you can't find it. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm being real. Mm -hmm. It's not a what, 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 what the man said. The man was sitting up there uh, 
eating some cereal mm -hmm. and had some flaxseed in it. Yeah. And once so, the flaxseed, yeah. you know, oh, I still got it. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> against me. But I knew if Ella Felina there, she's not going to plot against me. Mm -hmm. I ain't trust nobody. I was like,
But there were false prophets that were evil men among the people, even as they shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in cursible, or that's the same word pernicious in verse uh, 2. The word damnable is the same word pernicious, which is destructive. Destructive teaching. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Damnable is the word apolia. Apolia. What? In, in, in verse 2, it's the same word, a pernicious way, apolia. Wow. Which means ruin, destruction, miserably, miserably in hell, eternal misery in hell. That's what you see that? Yeah. Who shall privately, I'm going to say privately, privately, privately bring in, they don't want nobody to know this secret. Mm -hmm. Don't tell nobody I taught you this. Don't tell nobody I showed you this. Boy. Cursible teachings. Miserable teachings. Teachings that going to get you miserably thrown in hell and be miserable. Up, yeah. I like verse 5 definition of, of, of heresy. The extension arising from a diversity of opinions and aims. It took a whole bunch of opinions and put it into a teaching. That's so, sort of like evolution. Oh, there you go. Even denying Yeshua, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. In other words, the very way they got saved, they start denying. There you go. Yeah, that sounds good. And bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, their destructive ways, their damnable ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. That's stupid people following stupid people. Are you listening to me? Yeah. That's what I mean by dumb. Yeshua said, I can the blind lead the blind. They both won't fall in the ditch. Yeah. Stupid. Right here, I was I was sitting home on my own business. I don't want to have that cut because I was not my own business. Yeah. And I uh, tried to cut me up. Yeah. And I was thinking, yes, I was. And I had a lot of good thoughts because I do that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good thoughts. <laughs> and um, <laughs> this show came on, I was, I was on YouTube. And it's a, a reality show of preachers of L.A. Oh, okay, great. Somebody said preachers? Preachers. No, not preachers. Those are pastors. Yeah. Pastors of Los Angeles. Yeah. Who then done? You heard me. <laughs> you heard me. You got a hangover? <laughs> the has been drinking right? they got all out there, got some dark shades like, Now you got some shades up, you say, hey I'm running. <laughs> hey there, pastor. Pastors? Oh, look at Eve in the middle. He <laughs> is. <laughs> now, this show... Yeah, some of your favorite artists. Uh, you know what I call them artists because they're good at their craft. Yeah. Artists like Beecher Haddock, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Artists like Noel Jones, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Those are the big two I know, and like both pastors. And they're living a, supposed to be lifestyle in front of the cameras so people can get a glimpse of the lives of pastors, which is totally against scripture because it tells you that, basically it said, let what happened in the bedroom stay in the Thank bedroom. You, yes. But anyway, 
They had a conversation with Diedrich and his girlfriend, who he had a baby for out of wedlock, mm -hmm. saying that she wants, if they're going to have any more babies, they need to get married. And said, don't act like you're my pastor. You pastor them. Don't try to pastor me. But if we're going to have any more babies, we need to get married. So, and he's saying, Yes, I'm a pastor, but at the end of the day, I'm a man. Oh, Lord. He said, yeah, I had Ooh, wow. babies out of wedlock. That happened. I can't. I had a baby out of that wedlock. I got divorced. He had got divorced. He had a baby out of wedlock. Then he got divorced. And he was trying to make the world think it wasn't his wife's fault. And then he had, um, he said he can't do nothing about that. But at the end of the day, he's a man. They put a pastor on a level on this pedestal that they can't live by. Then the other man came out, I don't know, he's supposed to be a big shot. He said, Jay-Z and all of them got cat they my only one can ride around in caddies and we can ride around caddies too. And like the dude said, I thought we were supposed to be fighting after your shoe and not Jay-Z in the boys. Now, I'm bringing this up for a reason. All these people, they oh, 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 I almost forgot the coup, the deal of the coup of the Coop Deville. I don't know his name, but y'all know he'd be on TV and he had like a Jerry Curl, light skin. He's almost a Jerry Curl and he talks with his laptop and and um, I can't think of his name, but he's a big shot. I say his name, you're a man. This man preached a sermon. My wife told me, she said, honey, you'd have been in the parking lot. Yep. I said, I'd have been to the door. Waiting for you to pull around with the car. And we'd have been out of that place. This man, he said, and everybody said, get, get the concept. Get the concept. This man said, the garden, in the garden of Eden, the tree of knowledge of good and evil was the time. He said, he said, he said, God told Adam and Eve they could have all them trees, they could miss all the trees but that one. That was his tree. What? That was the, that's in principle, that was the tie. So what? as soon as you touch the tie, you curse. What? And the people slept there. I said, the Robin Harris would have came out. <laughs> Y'all are here doing something. Wrong. <laughs> oh. Yes, all of the drugs, all of the drugs. That's just the most ridiculous. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh. Are, you, are, are you really, really, really preaching that? And you people really, really, and you still got a church. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That, 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 that tastes the nasty coming out my mouth. Ugh. I need some more I mean, that scripture right before your eyes, people. Denying Yeshua right now. Mm. That's the title. But that don't make sense. No, it does not. I ain't know nothing about no title until my cousin that came in. But we sat there and I like he said such a revelated thing. Are oh, y'all listening to me? Yes, sir. Why you say that, Pastor? Because I had a real problem with these liars. That's yes. why I was so compelled to write that rap I wrote. That was fantastic. Man, that thing was birthed out of me. Man. I, I, and, and it's amazing. It's a, it's a rap FBI I going to do. And, well, probably, I don't know, you know, you didn't get nothing. Mm -hmm. But, the lies that are being spoken have elevated to a level yes. beyond imagination. Yes. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. When someone as anointed as Dietrich had it, and he is an anointed singer, 
And they've been doing it forever. This is not nothing new, how anointed singers and anointed people live like devils when ain't nobody watching. Yeah. And the reason why, I mean, Saul is the example there. He was anointed to be king, but he had like a devil behind closed doors. And the reason why the, 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 the church kept going because it was behind closed doors. Yeah. Now they're putting it out so everybody can see yeah. how degrading so-called Christianity is when Christianity is made by the Catholic Church and the lifestyle of Yeshua is a lifestyle of hope and change. Yeah. People's lives actually really do get changed. Yeah. People used to do a lot of crazy stuff, but slowly but surely the Father delivered them. Ask Peter. Ask me. I'm pretty sure some of you can testify. Yeah. People have issues, but the Father is able to bring them out of them all. But what happened is, if everybody lying, if I'm sitting up here and I got a spirit of stealing on me, and I ain't, I, I'm living in that thing, everything I'm preaching is going to jump on you. Yeah. Because you ain't listening to your shun now. Mm -hmm. You're not studying what I'm saying. And the Father can use anybody. That's how I like Deidre had his song. The Father can use them. Mm -hmm. And He will use it. He has used it. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. But somebody as anointed as Tony, he didn't just woke up one morning and decided he was gay. Mm -hmm. He had been doing that for a while. Mm -hmm. He was just under the cover. Yeah. Somebody as anointed as a Carson Pearson. Mm -hmm. These people, I mean, y'all use who you want to use. That's why he tell you. And see, that's where they make mistakes at. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. McCall is not the leader of RTM. Yah is. Yeah. I am the human that Yah chose to be the leader. In other words, the one he speaks through. Mm -hmm. But after the message, I listen to it too. Mm -hmm. I don't claim to know all that's the thing. They say, oh, I'm just this. I'm just. Yeshua, who did Yeshua say was the leader? None of y'all. He, he said, all y'all, he said, he that is greatest among you, let him be as a servant. I do everything you guys do. Every, everything. But most of them came fast like I used to. But see, the point I'm trying to make is, we get stuck on it. Are you listening to me? I didn't mean for this to be the preaching message, but you guys need to hear this. Because you guys slip, I, I feel it every, I'm telling you, it's like, it's like a chalkboard in my spirit. It's not, I'm like, oh, man, man, great. It's like you forget who you are, and that's why we need to come together. My job is to say what y'all say. Your job is to get in, study, and roll with it. But you got to roll with it. Say, I got to roll with it. got to roll with it. You can't just sit there and die. You got to practice it. You got to say, I'm here regardless of what they told me. And you got to keep hearing it. Are you listening to me? You got to say, I'm saved, I'm, I'm whole, I, I listen, I'm not this, that's the old me, the whole, he said he made all things new. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Now is he new in your life? Oh, you listen to damnable or bad teaching. That's what I'm trying to Anybody got anything you want to say? Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Somebody, somebody back me up. Yeah, what he said was true. Um, <laughs> that, uh, it's true, man, because one of the things uh, I, I noticed, too, is that the longer we go without service, the, the easier it is to, to slip into old habits and to, and to forget the state of the commandments, to forget the prayer of your food, to forget to remember who you are, to forget to, you know, all the little things we were working on as we assembled our stuff together. It's really easy to forget that stuff when you don't assemble your stuff together. And I think I'll, I'll start with Pastor uh, when he was up here about uh, the time we had off, you know, it was just like, it's, if you don't listen to the word, 
it's like it's real easy to forget all the teachings we get if you don't go back and review it. And I, I just I agree. It's everything he's saying, man. It's it's, it's right on point. Oh, man. Come on, give him a hand for that. I mean, even even to the point you got the verb right there. Somebody still need to say, listen to it. You got the verb right in front of you. Are, are you listening to me? Because you sit right there. I got at home right now. I got tapes on top of tapes. I've been telling you guys, take the tapes and use them as witnesses. We might want to listen to someone. I go back sometime and listen to old messages. Why? Because they're still relevant. And you need it. You need it. What if you sure come and you and you and one of your I guess don't feel safe today? Elder was in here preaching to herself, really. Elder, Elder Linnell. I saw it all over. She was like, ooh, this is a good bird. And nobody else don't get it. I get it. And that's how I be sometimes. But you got a warning. Say, I got a warning. Okay, you got a minute and 42 seconds. Yeah, I'm shutting it down. Anybody got anything they want to say or add? The Father told me you had a crossroad. I know some of you don't see it. But you had a crossroad in your path. You're like where, where, the, uh, where Dorothy met the scarecrow in your walk in young. And you're trying to decide what to do. Dorothy, I mean, the scarecrow is your shamana. But the scarecrow gave Dorothy a lot of wisdom. And you're trying to decide whether you should listen to the strange thing or should you just keep going your way. Are y'all listening to me? And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you should have done better than you did during the time I was born. Because you're stronger than that now. You're better than that. And I, I'm not in your business. I'm just telling you what I know through praying. I hear you. And I don't know how to go on Facebook or none of the stuff like that. But I went on Facebook, and I don't be trying to spy. I be trying to get the RTM. I mean, I go down my, uh, they'll, they'll want me to read the prayers for party up. Or I go down my little, uh, what is it thing called? Timeline thing, or whatever comes up on that. Yeah, news feed. And the point I'm trying to make is I ain't trying to spy on you. But I'm the spiritual leader. Yeah. And that's what I care about all of you guys. You should have done it better. You got enough spiritual tools. You know, I'm like in Montreal, he saw the text message just for script. I like it there. Yeah. I know me, I, I, I designed, I tried to design RT on Facebook so that something professional come on every day from a different point of view that keep keep us going. But I've been out of it because I've been recovered. And it seems like, you know, somebody always said, Pastor, you want me to do RTM, RTM, uh, you being God, you want me to do this? They did that with the nails, but it ain't not. Amen. I guess I yeah. all me, Pastor. I'm just using that as an example. I ain't saying that's what exactly what should have happened. I'm saying somebody should have been spiritually alert to see, hey, listen, we're falling back. We got to do something. Y'all want to meet and we all free? But I know if my costume was right, I know, hey, we got to talk. I, hey, listen, I ain't trying to hear nothing that you got to do. Right now, you got to pray. We're going to meet on such and such night. And we're going to go up before you are and pray for our leader. I ain't saying that's what you should do. I'm saying. Kiss the concept. That's it. Kiss the concept. Amen. Love you, my peeps. I'm glad to see everyone. Okay, my heart warriors. Mm. One more again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, come on, get a father hand clap of praise.
coming in to hear you. And that's our room. Yeah. All right, here we got Mr. Born in the place, the Warriors in the house. One more game, get a father hand clap of praise. Thank you. 